I haven't even looked at the line yet. Tell me how much we spent. Uh, oof, uh, a bit more than you said we were going to spend. Oh, like a lot more than you said we were going to spend. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now you're Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, Sheep's the Game, we're at United Auction Stirling. We're going to try and buy some cheviots for Lizzie's Blocker Ground. Not sure what's here, saw the catalogue, there is about 600-700 cheviots in the sale. So 15,000 sheep in total, let's see if they like the job. And if not, we'll see some sheep. Let's get inside. Okay, now lots of sheep here, lots of people here. This is without a doubt the busiest day I've ever been to Stirling, although it's been a while since I was at a breeding sale at Stirling. But you have a combination of 10,000 store lambs here and 5,000 breeding sheep. So you have customers for the store lambs, you have customers for the breeding sheep. Here's some Chivate Gimmers coming in here. This must be Katie's Chivate Gimmers. There we go, Chivate Gimmers going heading in that way. How you doing? They would do your job, was he? Strong? Are they not? Too strong? Good little Gimmers. Here we go, next pen, second lot. Should probably see them sold though. These are both Katie's I think, Katie's first in. Good sheep. Yeah, better see them sold eh. Do you want to go and see them sold then we'll see these stock ones. We're kind of late up today, we had other jobs on this morning, we had some, some ewes. Oh we're getting to mess things up, going up this way. I know, but the next lot coming out well, okay, come on. Carnage here, man, there's sheep running all roads. Loads of mule lambs here. Bit hectic this one, guys, I'm not really getting time to, to make fancy slow-mo videos like I often do. Just walk you through it and show you as we, as we rush about. That's them there, all nice. How are you doing? There we go. Looking good, right, so we're gonna head down here and see. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Right, we'll just watch this first lot of TV gimmers, so we'll see how they go. And then we'll go and see these stock news that they actually came to see. These gimmers are going to go in, I think they'll be too expensive for us, and some fettle. Too good a form. Minnie's in that pen? It's 46. <laughs> Always. Knew they'd be expensive. Let's go and see these stock news. <laughs> this is the use here. That's Lizzie and Angus. Angus shows your nose now. He's been in the walls, that poor boy. A lot of people asking what happened to his nose. Well, actually, he was no, no, he was born with this little bit here, so he's on a waiting list to get a scan for for people wondering. He, he was born as a rugby player. These are bigger ones here. Although this is a different pen. This is 407. What's this? this these are Texel Cross. That's why they're bigger. Shows what I know. Yeah, you see the Texel on that one there for sure. Okay, where's the rest of the stock use then? Aye, 444, four. over this side as well. Yeah, okay, right, 444. Four, four. Go this way, it'll be easier. Let's do it. All sorts here, we have some Scot you know, Scotch black face shoes here. Just regular ages. Store lambs, 10,000 store lambs as I mentioned. We're probably not going to see that sale ring today. Well, I popped in already, saw big Hamish Mitchell. Spent 10 minutes blaring to him, so if I spend too much time there, we'll lose the whole sale. Blethering. Which is of course the great thing about coming to the markets. Big droves of stock yows here too. How you doing alright? <laughs> uh, now we've got these big girls here. What do you think about them Lizzie? 446. 446 is in this mob of stock yews, so there you go. Cheviots there. So I'm not actually sure what the the story is, so when you see in the, the catalogue like that, you've got uh, stock use, so to have 500 Chivit stock use in, I'm guessing it's either a retirement or 
uh, a slight reduction. I might have missed a trick there because I think a man we just passed might have been his shoes. He said something to me there and I, I missed what he said. Apologies. If you watch this back and I, I didn't catch you, we'll, we'll get you at some point. But good mix, mixed bag of things this time as well, was he? Yeah, this, this, whole, this whole row, everything here is, is them, I think. 4-4-4 four, four, four to 4-5-3. Four, so, yeah. Yeah, all the way up here. I mean, that's, that's not a pure achieve yet, right enough, but we're crossing them anyway, so it's not the end of the world if there's a little bit of variation, you know, if there is the odd Texel bit in them or the odd Shetland bit, that looks like, no, it wouldn't be Shetland. Um, that would actually look more like a bit of Romney or something in it, or, or Dorset. If there is a bit of crossing in them, it's not the end of the world because we're going to cross them with another tup to keep a female, it's not. Why are you so happy? Why are you so happy? Some boy. No, there might be more to come in for that man. I'll get the crack with him. I think that was the man there. We'll get the crack with the farmer and just see what the actual story was. How you doing, all right? So, here we have another lot of five-year-old Jews here. Oh, they're looking great health. These will be South Country Cheviots, mostly. Let me get in here and let you see them rather than looking at the, at the fence. And here we go. Look at us, we've got some sheep fans here. Wait, you sent it. We're live, we're recording live. Have you sold your, your black yeah. cheviots? Yeah. How much did you get? Um, an average of... Here's 275 average for them. That's not too bad, eh? That's great, is mum happy? Mum's delighted. So, ah, hey, you love the camera, don't kid on. So, uh, hang on a minute, is this not a school day? No, we're on the tie holidays. Oh, right, okay. What did you call it? The other tie holidays? I didn't think that was to mid October. Is that tie holidays already? Oh, we're in Ayrshire. Aye, 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 aye. We get, aye, aye. We're different, different country down there. Good to see you. So, spoke to the farmer there. Quite interesting. Uh, big estate, taking the tenancy off them, essentially. Uh, yeah, long story born, they're taking it back. Who knows what for? It's happening a lot in Scotland just now. It's, it's unfortunate. So really, really good to get a chat with him. Really hope, obviously, the sale goes well for him. And I think it will, the sheep are really, really good. We're definitely going to have a go at getting them, but they're going to be strong. We'll try, Lizzie. Maybe. We'll try, they're going to be strong. Right, let's go, let's go and watch some sheep sold. Lovely. That's my usual, bottled it. Five year old, five year old cheap it. Two pound. Gimmer's 135, you know, mate. I want something for nothing. We're getting there now. We're on to the, the last lot before, sorry, two more lots, and then the ones we're looking at are coming through. And lots of people still here. Considering this sale is now, you know, it's, it's half past four in the day. I see there's still quite a lot of people here. Thank you. 
Smash and grab, just and set up an account for Lizzie. Lizzie's sheep. That's why I went. I got absolutely carried away there. That's probably the first time. I'm happy. You know, we're both happy. I should. I say it aye, but like we both picked the sheep out before it. And you know, it looks like I'm down there doing the bidding there. But we do. I, the main reason I'm bidding, I genuinely mean this, is because Lizzie won't be beat. Like you've seen in the previous video, I, I'm terrified. 
that she just gets carried away and just does not stop. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm the I'm the more nervous one of the two. So that's why I, I did the bid in there. But like, I think that's the first time I've ever came to a market, picked the sheep I wanted, and then bought them. I can't actually think of another time that I've bought. Oh, that's maybe Lizzie seeing where the hell are you? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming now, just had to set that account up and sort Andy Weir for the lorry. Right, I'm here now, I'm here now, getting around for how long? So Andy Weir, right, you saw my shooter there, he's bringing them down, it's going to be two loads though, 264, too many for one load, so he's going to have to bring a 200 and then come back for the rest. Well, Lizzie, what are your thoughts there? Says you, like you're the one that just kind of stopped bidding. Mm. But yeah, they were more expensive than we first talked about they spending. We'll just get rid of everything else. All the other cheap Just everything. <laughs> everything else. I haven't even looked at the line yet. Tell me how much we spent. Uh, oof, a bit more than you said we were going to spend. Oh, like a lot more than you said we were going to spend. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Now you're panicking. But those you ain't, like, it doesn't matter. How did I don't know what that out so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew it would be about that. Right, okay. Well, I didn't actually, I didn't do the maths. No, you said you had 20 at the start. Yeah, so I plan to spend £20,000, or we plan to spend £20,000, and we've spent £32,000. Mm -hmm. I feel sick. 264 sheep averaged £123 per head. But they're good sheep, was they? No, they are very good sheep. They're yeah, very they're good sheep. sheep. They're hands down. They're the best sheep. They're the best sheep we've ever bought. He's getting. Yeah, he's wanting to go. They're the best sheep we've ever bought. So, the adrenaline's come wearing off now. Um, Frank, the farmer there, was in with his family, and uh, you know, a big day for him. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, a, another thing you don't mind spending a bit more than you plan when it, it's going to something special. Like that, you know, somebody dispersing the the sheep numbers um, and been put off, put off out the farm essentially what is what's happened i hope you won't mind me saying that so yeah it's uh it's all good and on to the next one right let's see them coming home he doesn't mess about that's i'd literally just get home myself and pick jock up from nursery or from my mum's and he's here he's the man try that so this is the first 200 coming off um wait oh, i could turn the headlights around and you'll see it better see me out with the camera here Kid runs down the road. Oh, you've got lights. You. I didn't Aye. need lights. Oh, hey, that's I fine. Show that, but... MOT. <laughs> that's no requirement. Nah, is that a legal requirement? No, it's fine, sir. Nah, aye. It says all the right things. Here we go. Many did you get on? All oh, right, many's left. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. I should have seen the trailer. trailer. My God, man. But you need to go back up anyway. Eh? Oh. Aye, so it made no difference really. Well, all it, well, aye. I suppose it does, you have to run back here, but... idea for off road needs like I speak to Lizzie even coming home it's just nice it, it, it really is the first time that we've ever just like picked picked the sheep we want and then bought them like it's the first time I've ever done that so quite special and, and they're they are beautiful sheep I'm looking at them again coming off they are beautiful you'll see them plenty on this channel as we go on with this process we have our Aberfield tups you saw them arriving we have our Aberfield SR we've got a Frontera and we've got our um uh, Logie, top, all to go on them, and we'll probably chase up with a blue face Leicester. But we'll talk about all that later. That's it for this one. Andy's got another load to go and get. See you for the next one.